BOM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. Now that the elections are over for the business community, it is back to business. It is ever hopeful that government will create the right environment for businesses to thrive. Hello there. Thank you very much for joining us. You're watching the EOM Business Network, indeed the voice of corporate Nigeria. I am Olorogo Elkana Mawari. Today on the program, our focus is on business and the economy. And so we shall be speaking with some industry operators about their businesses, the operating environment, and other related issues. Also on the lineup is spot on. And we have Salabi Owolabi, who is Executive Director of Alliance Insurance Nigeria PLC. And on the face-to-face -face is another industry icon, Graham Leslie, who is the Country Manager of Dizengov Nigeria. Sit back as we bring you the details. Welcome to a new world of insurance. We are changing our customer service culture, the treatment of claims, the range of products that will protect your family and you, that will secure your business with services you can trust, from people you can trust, from a brand trusted worldwide. Allianz Insurance, now in Nigeria. Special television report. A globally acclaimed research report has shown that the organized private sector, OPS, of any modern nation is the pivot on which the economy revolves, and Nigeria is not left out. EOM Business Network on Silverbirds Television, with the official endorsement of the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, putting together a special television report on the organized private sector in Nigeria. Watch out. Let us begin with news on education. Access to quality education is one of the fundamental and foundational building blocks for a vibrant and sustainable socio-economic environment in any country. In line with this, co-founder and chief executive officer of Tuteria Limited, Godwin Bensi, spoke about the impact and importance of the award-winning multi-educational learning platform in Nigeria. We connect people who are seeking to learn anything to competent local tutors who can teach them what they're looking to learn. So you want to learn how to speak a local lang language, Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Ibibio, uh, even Fulani, uh, or even a foreign language, Chinese, Russian, Spanish, German, or you're passionate about music but haven't had someone to teach you. Um, or, or even if it's a skill like fashion design or photography or bead making, um, or even professional exams, you know, ILTS, ACCA, ICANN. What, what we've done over the past three years is we've looked for some of the best instructors in this field who have spare time and who are passionate about teaching. Um, so people who want to learn anything in that regard can always reach out to, to Terra. We operate across Nigeria, although majorly in Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt, but we have facilitators across the country. Co-founder and Chief Technical Officer of the company, Abiola Oyeni, also spoke about the challenges the company is facing. So our operation cost has, is currently in a position where it's a concern for us. And of course that involves the cost involved in getting things up and running. It has prevented us from moving at the speed we would have liked. And it doesn't, it doesn't just affect us, it also creeps down to our users because we do run into scenarios where tutors are finding it difficult to do a particular thing on the platform, as in getting when we have opportunities for tutors. Because of internet um, availability for some of our tutors, they are unable to get the job at that particular point in time. And when they eventually have access, the particular um, job might have been filled up by someone else. In another development, Executive Director and Managing Partner of Vestiro Integrated Services Limited, Osinachi Ogbona, spoke about recent developments in the safety industry in Nigeria. We have been doing a lot of uh, research. We have visited sites. And the problem we are having is that some of these infrastructures, they don't have 
firefighting equipment that can actually safeguard these buildings. It's not about spending more time building, you know, a very nice, you know, and well, good looking building. You need to look at the safety aspect of it and also lives that will be involved, not just looking at the assets, lives to which is more important. They feel that having, uh, just having a fire extinguisher means that they have safety covered. No. I've seen a lot of gaps. So, and also, I've looked at this uh, society at large. A lot of buildings, you see there's a fire outbreak everywhere. All these things could be mitigated if there is a fire safety equipment in place. But because knowing the country we are in, you know, a lot of people are not really aware of this. So I think um, what we do is we create the need so then we can actually solve these problems. Even the current one was uh, UAC that was around... Um, Last month at uh, UAC building, actually the last floor, yeah, there was a fire outbreak. But most times people install this firefighting equipment, but they don't carry up maintenance. So these are the reason why we have come into this business to see how we can resolve some of these problems that we're facing in Nigeria as regards fire. What we supply is uh, firefighting equipment that ranges from the fire extinguishers, the filler hydrants, fire suppression system for um, data centers, server room, and uh, equipment uh, room where you have high-valued assets. Now, it's not about have set rendered services in these areas. We're looking at quality because when you render a quality service to your customers, they tend to call you back because they know what you have supplied or delivered to them. And that is the EOM Business Network News. Special television report on Inlax on the next episode of EOM Business Network. Currently, we provide automated teller machines, ATMs for the banks. We have more than 6,000 ATMs all over the country in Nigeria. We had deliberate action plans in line with the strategy on how we can develop our people. We also provided uh, what we called um, increased product performance to all our products, improving on service delivery, what are the pains that are not currently being addressed by the solution that we offer? An expose on the giant strides of Inlax, Nigeria's foremost information and communications technology company, as it continues to redefine the provision and delivery of innovative ICT and infrastructure solutions in Nigeria. Join us. <music>
you can also win fantastic prizes like refrigerators, mobile phones, TV sets, fans, etc. in the daily round just for 200 naira. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to the Give Raffle Draw and win big. For more details, log on our website at www.sgsenergy.com. Terms and conditions apply strictly for 18 years and above. Please note, the Give Raffle Draw is licensed by the Lagos State Lottery Board. We have the father father for them boys. You call it Shashandero. I'm happy to see you once again. Well, I'm happy to be here once again. Okay. Although I did not buy any ticket today, but I've been trying on the side. Okay, so you've been trying. Have you won after that again? Yes, yes. Wow, you won again? For my wife, actually. Oh, what did she win this time? She won uh, a set of cutleries. Wow, congratulations to her. Okay. I never believed until the day the car was brought live to my house. So with how much did you buy that ticket that won the car? Yeah, it's 500 naira. Okay, 500, 500 naira ticket. Okay. But you will need, you may need to try more than once because I didn't buy just one ticket. I was okay. playing online. Then any time I have the chance to be in areas where there are sales people are, I always pick one or two tickets. So I encourage you, you might be the next car winner. Zero one one, zero zero one, a car winner. Somebody's story has just changed. Check your phones. For Somebody's service. ministry has just changed. Somebody is stepping up. The ticket ID is 655. 655. 018. 018. 22. 22. If you are such a ticket holder, please identify yourself 655 right now. 018. 22. Hello, good evening. My name is Susan. From Give Raffle. Did you buy a Give Raffle ticket today? How much ticket did you buy, please? 500 Naira. Was it only 500 Naira you bought? Okay, you also bought the 200 Naira ticket. May I confirm where you bought the ticket from, please? Sergio Show Show Spot. Yeah. Wow, Mr. Yusuf, you just won yourself a brand new Kekemara Cut Ticket Raffle. What we see here today, the Give Raffle is registered with the Lagos State Lottery Board. Um, the good part of it is that for every winner that emerges, they get their reward. So this is not fake. This is not something that has been plotted together. Once you win, you get your reward. Okay? So um, I'm just going to encourage uh, others that are still going to play and they are hoping to win. Keep playing. Just keep playing and keep believing. Once your name comes out as a winner, you get your reward. And if you don't have, if you are not getting your reward, then you talk talk to the Lagos State Lottery Board. We'll get your reward for you. Thank you very much. DPK Homes and Property Limited. Easy access to homes and properties ownership, comfort, security, and wealth. DPK Homes and Property Limited top-notch and innovative services through the provision of quality and affordable homes, sales and documentation of landed properties, real estate brokerage, legal advice on real estate matters, facilities management, building and construction, and so many more. Come over to DPK Homes and Property Limited. Alliance Global, the largest non-life insurance company in the world, has pitched its tent in Nigeria as Alliance Nigeria Insurance PLC to deliver innovative insurance solutions and increase insurance penetration in the country. Owolabi Salami is Executive Director, Alliance Nigeria Insurance PLC.
We have a range of products and services. Um, for the corporate uh, sector, we have the usual corporate uh, products, industrial or risk engineering, energy covers, but these are rather technical and complicated um, products that if even one tried to communicate it to the audience, one may end up speaking over and above the, the heads of the audience. Regarding retail products, however, which are the simpler ones that we need on a day-to-day -day basis? So we have travel insurance. With the travel insurance cover, um, if your luggage is lost or if you take ill whilst you're out of the country up on to, uh, and the bill is up to about 30,000 euro, uh, we would actually pay you back all of the money which you would have spent. The home insurance cover, again, is there to protect the home against fire, burglary, flood, and every other peril that may afflict uh, the, 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 the dwelling unit, as well as the content inside of that house. We have a savings and endowment product that allows for you to put money aside for the rainy day. Now, with the savings and endowment product that we have, I like to compare very much to bank savings products. If you and I took money today and went into the bank and opened a deposit account, we would be lucky on a savings product if we get more than 3 or 4%. Now, the insurance industry generally, with its own savings product, you could actually earn as much as three times what the bank will pay you. In addition to that, you also get a cover in the, in the event that you die or that you have an accident that disables you, we are also there to even pay you additional money. So when you actually look at what we offer against what the banking industry offers, we have a far better savings product than the banking industry does. But how many people know it? That's where, again, awareness and communication really comes into play. But we do. And we also have that product here at Allianz. We have a motor insurance product, which is like for every other company, but with our own unique value propositions. We are currently working on a um, health product as well that we would like to um, introduce into, into the market. So we have a wide range of products and services to take care of practically every risk that you may have to contend with in your entire life cycle. We are there for you. At the top of the industry, but uh, small steps. So right now we believe that uh, with the numbers we closed out in 2018, we could very well emerge as a top 10 company. Um, when you think back to 2014, when we were not even in the top 25, that's an achievement in itself. But we hope that over the next five years, we should definitely be one of the leading insurance companies in the market. Um, in terms of ranking or rating, I would say that um, being a leading company is not necessarily determined by just how big your balance sheet is or the size of the premiums that you're recording. It could be by the quality of the people you have, the quality of the products that you have, uh, the profitability that you can generate. And along all of those metrics, we will definitely be a leading company in this market within a period of five years. UT Homes, a fast-rising and innovative real estate company in Nigeria, positioned to providing quality and affordable housing projects to close the housing gap in the country. With moderately priced gated communities tailored to suit and satisfy the budget of all classes of people, UT Homes is always committed to deliver. For more inquiries, call UT Homes now. Graham Leslie is the country manager of Dizengov, Nigeria.
Dizengoff, as mentioned, has been around for many, many years. It's a well-established brand in, uh, in Nigeria. It's a brand that has reputation and quality behind it. Um, we pride ourselves in having two very different sectors that we look at. We look at agribusiness and we look at communications and technologies. Under the agribusiness side, we have some really interesting uh, products to offer. One of them that's really doing well at the moment is our complete greenhouse package where we're supplying a greenhouse, irrigation, seeds, potting soil, bags to plant in. And if you buy a number of these greenhouses, we'll even supply an agricultural advisor that helps the actual establishment of the greenhouse. So we have greenhouse technologies. We are into agricultural chemicals and soluble fertilizers. We're also into tractors and equipment. Um, and the last thing, but not the least thing, is we're into agricultural sprayers which are these backpack sprayers or knapsack sprayers as people call them which are used in agriculture for applying crop protection products. Uh, on, the, on the communication side we, we cover a couple of facets. The, the basic one is communication through radio technologies where we supply radios essentially to the oil and gas industry uh, where technology has not been able to catch up. In other words where cell phone um, signals and stuff are really weak. Radios work really, really, uh, really well. They're also very secure from, from that aspect. Um, it's two-way technology that, that really secures your communication within your company. We're also then into cyber security. We provide um, security, access security for companies as well. Uh, and then lastly, we're into IP technologies, uh, which is taking sort of the analog technologies, putting it into digital technologies and using IP to actually speed up our whole communications process. So we have two very different facets, agribusiness and communications and technology, but they do have some cross-pollination at the end. Uh, what we do see is as agriculture builds and farms become more commercial, so farmers employ radio technologies to communicate on farms. So in a, in a small way, there is a link at the bottom end um, but for the moment, they're two very separate technologies. I think our offerings come out of our mission where we are, we are providing products of the highest quality and the highest spec with as much professional and technical support as we can. Um, so I've gone through a number of those products which I've already mentioned, um, from handheld radios to knapsack sprays to greenhouses to tractors and implements um, to IP technologies and gateways and security. Um, so we have a, a very wide range of products that we do offer to the market, but at the same time backed up by technical support. I think every day most of us travel on the roads in Nigeria and, and they are in a state of disrepair. And I think if you take it from roads to rail, to congestion at the airports and everything, to, the, situ to the, the, the pretty poor situation with regard to power, water, sanitation and stuff. I think Nigeria has a long, long way to go as far as infrastructure goes. And infrastructure is, a, is, is essentially an issue that the government needs to look after. Government's collecting the taxes, those taxes need to be put back into improving our infrastructure. Because the more, more we improve our infrastructure, the more likely companies are going to invest in this country. Um, specifically when you look at agriculture, you know, products are being produced way out in the fields in different uh, of the states. They have to get to market. Those roads that are being used by the trucks uh, are, are really not in a good state at all. Not only does it take a very, very long time, but the state of the road and the wear and tear on trucks and stuff just makes it a very, very expensive exercise to get that produce to town. And if those trucks break down and they don't have refrigeration facilities and stuff, the product's wasted. So there's a huge amount of wastage coming out of agriculture due to the poor infrastructure, due to the lack of warehouses that can be cooled and, and kept all the fresh, keeping the fresh produce and stuff cool. So Nigeria's got a long way to go government really has to put the money behind actually fixing up infrastructure so that the people of Nigeria can see where their taxes are going. Welcome to a new world of insurance.
We are changing our customer service culture, the treatment of claims, the range of products that will protect your family and you, that will secure your business with services you can trust, from people you can trust, from a brand trusted worldwide. Allianz Insurance, now in Nigeria. And that's just a fine place to call it a wrap on today's package of the EOM Business Network. Thank you very much for spending your precious time with us. We hope it was worth your while. But just in case you missed out on any aspect of it, then you can come with us to eomcoms.com and any of our other social portals, as you can see on the screen. Our deep gratitude to you, our sponsors, for your continued interest and support. Always remember, with you and us, we are charms. Oh yes, I remain Olorogo. El Kana Moare. Please let's do this again, same time, same channel next week. We'll see you then.